Hello, Bill. This is Barry, very BIM YouTuber, and uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, one, first one is Pokemon is alive, and uh, it amazes me how many people are in some to some degree into Pokemon, and I'm, I'll explain further in just a second. And the second one is going to be about um, movements in the European market. There has been some uh, rumors, uh, rumored movements um, for PE. There are some interesting listings when it comes to uh, Brilliant Stars. And uh, there has also been some suspicious, to say the least, activities with uh, English 151. As you know, English 151 um, has been announced to get a restock reprint in the U. I made a video about it and there, there are pre-orders available. And uh, that's also a very hot market, just like the all um, Pokemon market at the moment. So first thing first, Pokemon. So I'm gonna put you up uh, this picture that I took today, finally. Uh, this is like, uh, as you can see, is about 100 meters away from my department. And uh, it, I think it shows in one way how Pokemon is in our lives. And uh, you know, prob this probably has been drawn by people in their 20s, mid 20s, uh, maybe early 20s, uh, late teens, or even, early 30s, I don't know. Um, I can assume to some degree was drawn by uh, people who were pretty young, not like 40, 50 year old men. Uh, but uh, not only that, I was, uh, you know, I, as you know, I started my master. I talked to, I made some friends. One of them as a Rayquaza as their screen server. Is that how you say it? As the image on their phone. So also that tells you something. And then I was at the cafe, I was having lunch, and um, you know, I was sitting next, uh, in front of uh, a couple of, uh, of guys. Um, the moment I leave, I realize that this guy on uh, the back of his cover, uh, on his phone's cover, has a flaring from Evolving Skies. Now that, people, you know, that it all happened in the same week. Um, so that tells me Pokemon is alive and there's more people that are into Pokemon than what we think and what we know. Uh, and that's an example. You know, you, you ask a couple of people in their 20s if they know Pokemon, they do. You ask a couple of people in their 20s if they're actively in some way into Pokemon, and apparently they do. Um, now it could have been random. I just met the only two people in the whole town. Possible, uh, unlikely, but possible. So. Then I want to say that um, it, it just amazed me on how people, you know, how so many people uh, are into Pokemon. At least uh, so many, but uh, by so many, I mean more than I expected. And then let's move into its transition into the European market. Uh, so there has been in the Discord, that there has been, in my Discord, which is absolutely free. If you want to join, um, you're more than welcome. Uh, let's have a chat. Uh, so there's uh, there has been talks about uh, some European uh, whales moving PE. We're talking about uh, four to five hundred boxes, which makes sense based on one of the last video I made, probably last video I made, uh, about uh, how their four to five hundred boxes are going from the market, uh, from the European market of PE. So that makes sense. And uh, another thing I want to show you is the listing for uh, uh, Brilliant Stars. There's 140 plus boxes. Now, right now, you see a list at 219 euros. Last week, and I have data to prove it uh, with, via the bot, um, was listed at uh, 199 euros. Um, and at this point, you may ask, is that, does the seller actually have 140 plus boxes of Brilliant? It's possible. Um, and uh, if that's the case, then I ask you, how many people have, I mean, I'm not saying 140 plus boxes, but 10, 20 boxes of every solution sets, and we don't know about it. Now, you, it's always a current argument, right? Oh, uh, yes, but people will want those boxes in the future. Possible. But how many boxes are out there? And um, I think that's an interesting question. It's an interesting question. I think more than, um, I think that could have an impact on the growth. Um, are in after a certain point. What I mean by that, I don't see a problem of a box being 200. Um, but, you know, 
brilliant is that 200, right? Uh, I can see going further in the future. Um, but I see with the number of boxes available, I see a problem with box of brilliant reaching certain levels, um, which I don't think they're realistic. I mean, is it possible? Yes. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I, I think it's an interesting topic. And then the last thing I want to talk about is um, 151. The first uh, pre-orders were listed on car market for 49 euros, 40, 45 maybe, 45s. Uh, those days are gone, they moved to 49. And I think last time I checked, they were uh, 51, 52 euros. That's interesting, uh, shows that if sellers are able to move prices higher, it means that people buy them. Um, I know of someone bought, it's in the Discord, um, they made it public, uh, they bought, um, 100, 200, 150, 200 bundles. I think it was about 4Ks worth of bundles. Uh, so probably 150. Um, that was just one order, so I don't know if they bought more. Um, but yeah, people want that. And then there's been some shady activities as far as I'm, I just read on the Discord, the, the guys in the Discord talking about it. Um, apparently some teller listed an enormous amount of boxes, uh, I mean, I think it was 151 UPCs for a very cheap price. Um, and there's speculation they did so. They didn't have the box of the uh, UPCs, just did so uh, to move prices lower so they could, you know, if you move price lower, then you can potentially buy at a lower price. Um, that, that's obviously would be, you know, just speculations. I'm sure car market uh, looks into it, um, but uh, yeah. Uh, all of that to say the parking market is hot it, you didn't need me uh, to just to, to tell you that you can see that and not only by looking at the market but just by looking at YouTube and your favorite, favorite uh, pocket tubers uh, that are not European because I'm your favorite European pocket tuber uh, and uh, yeah the market is hot it's a bull market will it continue to be bullish we'll see uh, possible uh, but uh, yeah is it time to be fearful now that I want greedy? I don't know. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.